same little spot you didn't insert a flathead on each side. So you pretty much bring these down. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, so I'm going to be cutting my diffuser. Um, initially, I wasn't going to cut it because I didn't mind the hole. But not so long ago, someone did rear end me and gave me like a little coin slot right here. And it's super ugly. On top of that, there is like paint gone right here. But um, nothing I can do about this right now. Go ahead and take off my um, fourth brake light because I already found a buyer. So I'm going to go ahead and take it off. Bash bar comes in later today. Hopefully soon, so I can go ahead and put it on. But if not, I'll just go ahead and put it on the next day. All right, so I got the brake light out. Pretty much all I gotta do now is disconnect all the wires and it should be able to just come out. I don't know if you guys can see that, but pretty much I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this red wire right here and also this blue one. Oh, never mind. There you go. Let's see. Boom. Still perfect condition, brand new, out the box. Come pick up 300. Nah, it's just dirty though. There's like no cracks, no nothing. There's like a little scuff. Nope, not even a scuff. It's just very dirty. All right, so I got the fourth brake light off. I don't know if you guys can see it. Cleaned up somewhat. I was just thinking right now, like I remember I was so excited to first get this fourth brake light. If you didn't know before, I did have these tails and this fourth brake light is actually also the black and gold edition. So when I first got it, I was just like so hyped because I like, completed the rear end of my car. It's finally time to let it go. Back with the track stance. She look at this. This is aired out, bro. <laughs> this is rough. <laughs> Alright guys, so I got the fourth brake light off. Pretty much now all I'm gonna do is go ahead and cut the diffuser uh, with this Dremel right here. My plan I guess is gonna be to just cut a little under it, not touch it completely, and then kind of just shave the rest down. Pretty sure there's no like specific way to go at it, but I'm just gonna go ahead and start right here in the middle. Like I said, the bash bar is coming in today, but currently I do not have it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it like this. I'm gonna go ahead and grind some of this down. Dude, the car looks so ugly without a bash bar and just cut like that. Only the OGs remember Chris committed a sin. No bash bar, dual exit, dual exit and no bash bar. You had the stock bash bar, right? Here is the diffuser. As you guys can see, it was pretty clapped to begin with. Like it's like faded. And we have all these like other burned off plastic. So yeah, pretty much super clapped. We have the bash bar. I did ask for it in a raw finish. I just don't know what color I want to do it yet. A lot of people are telling me to just match the lip. We still have time. We're just gonna go ahead and rock it raw for now. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and take off uh, just these two on both sides because I do have to remove the bumper. It's just so awkward because you hear things like that and it's like, damn. It's all good. It's for a better purpose. Clapped. This is actually my first time ever taking off my rear bumper. 
you guys can see right here. Finally got the bash bar on. What you think? What you think? Clean. I actually really like how this came out. Um, it's not perfect quite yet. I still need to sand it down. But I really like how the bar pretty much fills in the gap as much as possible. Here it is. A few days have passed. As you guys can see, here's the result, guys. Finally a bash bar, boy. Like I said, I did go with a raw finish, so it does actually build up, as you guys can see right here, um, some surface rust. So I do have to paint it ASAP. Um, it does come off, but um, I don't want to be having to scrape it off every time. If you guys have any suggestions on which color to color it, let me know down below because a lot of people match either their wheels. I feel like if I match this, it'll look too tacky or like too much. The only thing I can do or that I can think of is coloring it like a darker gray, almost like my car, but then that would kind of be like pretty bland or change my wheels, which is the more expensive alternative, but I don't know. The car definitely looks good right now. I love how it looks. Even though I do feel like there's a lot of colors going on right now. You guys got the bronze, the dark gray, the light gray, um, and the red, you know. Let me know what you guys think. I actually really love how it came out, but still a lot of rough edges. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and wait till probably like I get this paint or something when I take it off. I'm not sure if you guys can see this, it's pretty dark, but I also do have to take out these plastic pieces right here. Last look, no more diffuser, no going back. Um, unless I get another bumper, obviously, but I think it came out really good. The rear looks very, very aggressive now. As you guys can see, the Tomei. Tomei is literally almost on the floor, but it looks so good. All right, boys, another day again. I know, another day. Peep the merch, peep the merch. Y'all know where to go, but y'all see what I'm talking about? All this rust right here. I'm gonna have to get like a scotch bright and just take it off. But I was thinking, I was thinking for the bash bar, we can do one thing. And that is like, what if we switched up the colors like every few months, just because I don't know which colors stay on. And I don't want to go with like 10 different colors on my car, but that wouldn't matter if we're purposely changing the color. So I was thinking like maybe every two months I switch up the color, a uh, little rattle can job, obviously not take it somewhere professionally done because it wouldn't make sense for me to take it somewhere professionally if I'm gonna be doing it every two months. What do you guys think of that? I'd say like every two months, maybe three, um, depending on how lazy I get, we switch up the color of the bash bar. Um, I'll put like a poll on my Instagram and we'll just like switch it up here and there. Yeah guys, it could be anything. It could be pink, lime green, whatever. As long as I can find a rattle can, and paint it that color. What do you guys think about that? I think that's gonna be like the best idea. Um, yes, the car will be like a little off-putting. I understand that. I don't know, I kind of feel like this is something I can involve you guys in. And if I can just, if it's already raw, I might as well, right? Let me know what you guys think about that idea. So yeah, I definitely don't want to do black, gray, or bronze. So I think this is gonna be um, the go-to. So yeah, like in two months, you guys are probably gonna see a poll on my Instagram with two different colors. Maybe we can go ahead and switch it up just so you guys can vote right there. Fuck honey mustard, bro. Honey mustage? Fuck no. I'm good. No. Bro, anything with the word. Bro, anything with the word mustard in it is not going in my mouth.